Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Climate Change Response. Climate change is generally defined as a significant variation of average weather conditions, say, conditions becoming warmer, wetter, or drier over several decades or more. It's the longer-term trend that differentiates climate change from natural weather variability. Effects of climate change on human health are many and may include Increased smog and heat waves result in more temperature-related illness and death. The spread of infectious diseases such as malaria dengue and yellow fever into Canada as insects carrying these diseases migrate northward with a warming climate. The decline in quality and quantity of drinking water as water sources in some areas become threatened by drought. Psychological effects such as direct trauma if an individual has experienced an extreme weather event, e.g., impacted directly by a storm or flood, or increased anxiety, stress, or poor emotional well-being due to concern or uncertainty about job security or the future in general. As the number of extreme weather events is expected to increase, this frequency will place a greater demand on emergency response and disaster mitigation services, healthcare workers, utility and construction workers, and others who are responsible for directly responding to these events. This demand may lead to an increased risk of injuries, illnesses, and psychological impacts for these workers. While disaster mitigation and emergency response to an extreme weather event are often considered, other sectors could also be impacted. Changing temperatures may result in Swimming pools and air-conditioned public facilities may be required to stay open for longer periods. Longer working hours may impact an individual's work-slash-life balance, the workplace's finances, etc. Possible additional need for chemicals to treat the swimming pool water resulting in increased exposure to chemicals, financial costs, etc. Outdoor workers may need to adjust their working hours to avoid the hottest time of the day. Working at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are more active increases the chance of vector-borne illnesses. A disrupted workday, impacts non-continuous hours, may impact work-slash-life balance. Climate change in the workplace may cause Workers may have to perform closer to their maximum physical ability for prolonged periods when work activity is combined with hot conditions, leading to an increased risk for negative health effects. Changes in agricultural yields require adjustment to farming strategies and processes. Climate change in the workplace will require Ensuring your company's existing emergency response procedures and equipment are available and maintained. Consider expanding your drill schedules to include dealing with response to heat and cooling injuries. Also, consider dealing with weather-related events such as flooding, droughts, snowstorms, and high wind events like tornadoes and hurricanes. Ensure your HR department is prepared and has the resources to deal with the psychological stresses of dealing with climate change issues.